What's up YouTube, this is Hector from Not Too Nerdy, and uh, today I want to talk about content ID matches. Now I already made a video about this before, but I want to be a little more specific, especially like the new development that's going on right now. Um, in case you guys didn't know, a whole bunch of videos are getting content ID matches with uh, YouTube being more strict on their content ID matching system. Uh, you know, different uh, videos that have music in it, gameplay footage from certain game companies again flagged stuff like that or sorry it's gonna match not flagged there's a difference between content ID and also copyright strike now I did have 26 total content ID matches uh, last Monday now about 13 or 14 of them were there before this whole YouTube change and then the rest of them came on Monday or Tuesday last week um, so pretty much like you could as soon as you get that right away I suggest disputing it you get one dispute for every single video that they that's matched with third-party content now what happens in dispute the company looks at it and they they say it is theirs they could uh, deny your dispute and then it, the message comes back to you and YouTube lets you know that they denied you and it says you could appeal now if you appeal and they deny you again then you get a copyright strike so now that content ID match that really doesn't harm you it just prevents you from monetizing the video turns into a full copyright strike now if you guys don't know three strikes you're out on YouTube and that's it your accounts closed you can't open it again so it's really not worth appealing it unless you have complete proof that you create like the video 100% yourself so um, just to show you guys right now uh, copyright notices I only have two now now it went from 26 to 2 I dispute a whole bunch of them and I also found a different system that they're really not promoting too much because it's in beta mode right now now this one I'll explain why it won't work for this video but it's a good thing that it's here so I can explain or show you exactly how to do something now if you look at this uh, match third-party content right now it was released uh, by the one company that claimed it but I'm still waiting for the other company to claim it or to release it. Now Merlin most likely Merlin WMG uh like all those companies are not going to release it. I almost guarantee you they're going to say they're going to deny my dispute. So I, I could wait till they deny it or I could do something now. Well, obviously I'll explain why it won't work for me now, but I'll just show you if you have 10,000 views or less See, I'm over 10,000, so I can't do anything about it. But if you have 10,000 views or less, what you do is when you have a third party match like this, all you got to do is go here and go to audio. Now, this is in beta mode. Like, you see, stuff like this is hard to see because usually the page is like that. People won't know. But if you, um, let me just pause that in case I get another content ID match. All right. So if you scroll down, it says right here remove a song beta. Now, what it is, there's a video, and it says right here, ads may appear on your video due to the presence of this song. All right? Now, removing this song may remove ads from your video. Now, it, here's what you could do. If you remove this song, and then you save it, okay? So you click remove, and then you save it. Once you save it, it's going to take you to a new screen, right? Once you go to the new screen, for example, I'll just do it. It's not going to work for me, but because like I said, it has to be 10,000 or less. Once you go into the new screen, you just go to edit. And once you're in edit, you can monetize the view like right now. It's going to work right now, but I'll explain to you why I don't want it to do this. But you save the changes right here. OK, now if you go back to video manager, it's re uploading the video. I don't want it to re-upload. I don't want a copy of it. And that's what it's going to do if it's 10,000, if it's more than 10,000 views. So I'm just going to erase that. I don't want it to be, you know, I don't want to re-upload and try to get all the views all over again, stuff like that. There's no point. Um, so that's what happens in that scenario. So if you're under 10,000 views, once you click edit and you save and monetize it, it's back to be monetized again. What YouTube does is they actually removed the sound or they lowered the sound so much where you can't hear it just for the portion that was matched 
So say there's only about 20 seconds to 30 seconds of your video that has that song, you still will not, like you'll have the video there, but the audio will not be present for those 30 seconds. Now, it doesn't work completely. That's why it's beta mode because there's some videos, I can't even remember which video it was, but there's, there's some videos that I had that I, I did this and it did nothing. It didn't change video at all. It just, YouTube thinks they changed the video, but it didn't do anything. And the, the content ID was gone and the video is being monetized again. So in reality, it, it I, I don't know why they're doing that, but I mean, it's pretty cool that they do have that system there. So not too many people know about that. So I'm just trying to spread the word and make sure everyone you know, knows that you could go there and change the audio for, the, for certain videos, but it has to be under 10,000 views. If it's over 10,000 views, it's not going to work unless you want to re-upload a video, but then you lose all the, the views anyway. So, you know, it defeats the whole purpose. So I'm, I'll rather wait for them to uh, contact me back. Hopefully, you know, they, they dismiss or, den you know, they dismiss the whole claim, but I highly doubt it because like I said before, Merlin is one of those people that are not going to do that. But uh, besides that, this other one is Metal Gear Solid's Konami, and Konami doesn't respond. I don't know what's taking forever, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just want to let you guys know about that. Uh, one more thing before I go, uh, in case you guys were not aware of this, that I do have a contest going on right now, and uh, it's this video over here. So if you guys did not see it yet, definitely go into it it's uh it's what i'm thankful for it was for the whole thanksgiving and stuff like that uh you can win a free video game now what we have for the contest is knack is available for a playstation 4 uh, it's a used copy obviously and that's only for people that are that live in the united states i will mail you a copy of a knack also we have another contest that's uh amazon gift card for uh, 65 dollars so you can use it for whatever you want most likely 65 dollars will cover you for a game and this is international as well. In uh, the U.S., I'm going to send you the $65. But uh, let me know if you're international first because before I purchase it. Because, uh, yeah, once I select the winners, you just got to let me know if you're international or uh, from the U.S. Because I think I have to buy specific currency. I don't think gift cards work for a certain location in Amazon. So I just got to make sure before I send you the gift card. Uh, besides that, definitely uh, all you have to do to enter this contest is subscribe to my channel. Uh, tell anyone, tell your friends or anything, let them subscribe. And I do have a couple people here that are in the run-ins for this prize. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You know, you know two people will randomly be selected. Now, uh, of course, if you're international, like I said, you can only get the Amazon card. But also, U.S. can get Amazon card as well. And uh, the NAC is only available for the people in the U.S. So that's it. Um, I also have a bunch of product reviews coming up this week. There'll be one tomorrow, and there'll pretty much be, uh, I think, three by the end of this week. So I had different reviews. You know, I have to review the Aver Live Media Player. Uh, I also have to review the headset, the gaming headset I have, the Cruiser PC200, which is really good. But I'm going to let you guys know exactly what I think about that. And also, the final thing I have to review, I believe I have uh, two games to review as well. So we still got a bunch of things on this channel coming up. And I'm trying to do more original content, not just this all this gameplay and all this other stuff. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So just let me know what you guys think about this copyright notices. If you have any questions about how to get rid of like certain like notices or anything like that. Maybe if you want to know specifically what I write to dispute these uh, claims just let me know uh, message me or uh, comment on the section below and I'll uh, respond to you as quickly as I can so this is Hector from Not to Nerdy I'm out see you YouTube